This video is going to introduce the unit circle and this one particularly we're going to apply this to a 45 degree angle. So first of all the unit circle is simply a circle that has a radius of one unit. So if this is our circle here and because this is called the unit circle uh, if it has a radius of one unit, then that means we're going to go out here. This point then on the x-axis would be one zero because we're going out one unit on the x and we're not going up or down for the y. So this is giving us our x and y coordinate. So that means the point up here at the top of the circle must be zero one. And then over here on the left-hand side, we would have negative one zero. And the bottom of the circle would be zero negative one so there's our unit circle and we're going to start exploring this with different uh, angles and the first thing we want to look at is a 45 degree angle uh, before we do that I want to recall uh, the Pythagorean theorem we know that if we have a right triangle uh, and I'm going to label this as X Y and R and probably in the past you could think of this as A, B, and C. And the Pythagorean theorem would state A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or in this case, we would say X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. So this is what we're going to use uh, as we go through exploring this unit circle. So to start off, we're going to take our circle. And we're going to draw a right triangle in here. And we're going to look at right here, we're going to start with a 45 degree angle. So if I draw up to here, then we know this angle is 45 degrees. Okay. And if I was to drop this line straight down to make a right triangle, now we want to determine what are the sides of this triangle. Well, if we go back and review a little bit from our notions of right triangles, well, we know that this is the unit circle because we know that this point would be 1, 0, and then we set up here this point would be 0, 1 because the circle has a radius of 1. So that tells us here the hypotenuse of this triangle is going to be 1 because that's the radius of the circle. So now, if this is a 45 degree angle, we know that all have to add up to 180. So we also know that this angle up here is going to be 45 degrees as well. Now, what we want to look at is what is the length down here on the x-axis? So what is it out to this point? What's the uh, base of this triangle? Well, we know that if this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, uh, you were probably taught at some point that this side has to be equal to this side, which would kind of make sense. We're going to go out on the X the same distance we're going up because this 45 degree angle is going to cut this here, this 90 degree angle in half. So how do we determine the length here of each side of the triangle? Well, if we go over here to the side and we draw out the triangle, uh, we know this is 45 degrees. We know the angle up here has to be 45. So therefore, we know this is 1 and the sides are going to be the same. So instead of calling it x and y, because I know they're the same for this triangle, I'm going to use x and x. So if we use our Pythagorean theorem, uh, we now can go through and say, well, x squared plus x squared, because they're the equal, is equal to 1 squared. So x squared and x squared, we would get 2x squared is equal to 1. And if we divide by 2, x squared is equal to 1 half. And now we need to get rid of the square. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. But that means we would use plus or minus. So therefore, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 half. And I'm going to probably write this this way because we know the square root of 1 well the square root of 1 if I go up here 
we could say plus or minus the square root of 1 is 1 over the square root of 2. And we know that we normally don't like to have a square root in the bottom, so we can rationalize by multiplying by square root of 2 on top and bottom. So therefore, we get x equals plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. Now, if you notice here, uh, we get a positive and a negative. Well, because we're looking at the location of where we're going, we're going to be using the positive square root of 2 over 2. So that tells us this x value here is the square root of 2 over 2, which also means this x value is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, the location of this point right here, the x coordinate is square root of 2 over 2, and the y coordinate is square root of 2 over 2. So again, knowing this is the unit circle, we know that we have the point here on the x-axis at 1, 0. At the top up here on the y is 0, 1. And if we were had a 45 degree angle, we just found the coordinates here for x and y. So the x coordinate and the y coordinate are equal. Now, I was applying this to a 45 degree angle. And of course, if we look at this all the way around, let me draw another circle here. And we know that in terms of radians, if we have 45 degrees, that would be the same thing as pi over 4. So if I was to label this point here and draw my right triangle, and I'm going to call this pi over 4. Now, again, I'm using radians just to get you more familiar with it, but that would be the same thing as our 45 degrees. And what we discovered is the point here, the x and y coordinate for this point, is going to be square root of 2 over 2 for the x and the y coordinate. Now also what that means, we could go through a similar process. If I was to go over here and this point here, we want to know if this is at 3 pi over 4, and let me go ahead and mark all of these off. There are 3 pi over 4 and we could go to down here 5 pi over 4 and over here we would have 7 pi over 4 and what we want to be able to find is what are the x and y coordinates at each one of these points well if I was to draw our triangle here then once again if you notice this triangle is still going to have a 45 degree angle here and here so it looks like the x and y coordinates would be the same again but now because this is a negative x the coordinate would be negative square root of 2 over 2 and we're going up we would have a positive y of square root of 2 over 2. So how do we get to a point in the second quadrant? You have a negative x and a positive y so therefore, the x value is negative and the y value is positive. And if we were to draw the triangle down in the third quadrant, if I draw my triangle here, once again, this would form a 45 uh, right triangle. And again, this point here, the x and y coordinate, once again, would be negative square root of 2 over 2. And this time, we would also have a negative square root of 2 over 2 for the y value because we're going down on the y-axis. So then similarly for the 7 pi over 4, we would certainly then, because we're going over, the x value would be a positive square root of 2 over 2, and the y value would be a negative square root of 2 over 2. So what we've done here is we've identified for these uh, four locations we identified the x and y coordinate for the angle at pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4.